Hey friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie if you're new here and today we're going to be looking at the new ILMP Winter Wonderland collection. I'm super excited about this collection even though I'm still not totally ready for the winter season. This collection is really getting me excited for it. It features six super sparkly shades. We have a couple of new magnetic polishes. It's just really exciting, so let's just get into the swatches. The first polish is Snow Angel, a delicate iridescent shimmer with a micro holographic sparkle and silver metallic flakies. So I think maybe the iridescent shimmer would show up a little bit better in more indirect lighting. You don't really see it that much here in the sun, but it still is incredibly sparkly. This shade is also in a pretty white jelly-ish kind of base, but in some lighting, I feel like it can look like a very, very light gray. So it's not like pure white, but definitely very wintry. <laughs> so it's really sheer on the first coat, which really helps those delicate glitters and flakies shine through. And even on two coats, it's still very sheer. So I did do a third coat to build up the opacity a little bit more but you can still see through to my nail line, which didn't really bother me for this shade. I think this polish is just so dainty and magical and it really captures the magic of light reflecting off of the snow. Next we have Evermore, which is an absolute stunner. This is from their Ultra Holographic line, which I have heard of before, but I don't think I've ever tried. So seeing this in the sun just made me gasp. <laughs> But anyway, Evermore is described as a romantic, rose-tinged mauve with a subtle sprinkling of silver reflective flakes, which might be kind of hard to see amongst the intense hollow finish. But yeah, the formula on this one was such a dream to apply. I feel like this is definitely one of those shades that I think is so sparkly and distracting enough in a good way that you can get away with it in one coat, but I still did too. The next shade is Smitten, which is described as a dazzling lavender ultra-metallic microflaky with a magenta shimmer and a holographic sparkle. So to be totally honest, I don't really see the magenta shimmer, maybe like a sparkle here and there, but it's not as apparent as I thought it would be. But maybe I'm just too distracted by how sparkly the shade is. It is super reflective and I love how it twinkles in the sun. So this one is also in a slightly tinted base, but on the first coat, you can see it's not covering up my nail completely. So I think most nail lengths would, would look good with two coats, but if you have longer nails, you might need three. So I really love these kind of foil metallic finishes so much. They're just so reflective and shiny, but not super in your face like a linear holographic is. And I just love this lavender shade so, so much. Next up is Sugar Plum, described as a rich mauve base sweetened with a magenta magnetic shimmer and silver metallic flakies. So at first, when I was unboxing these polishes and only looking at the colors, <laughs> I was expecting this to be just like a darker pink shade. So once I applied it and saw how plummy it actually was, I was like, oh, okay, this is not pink, it's actually giving sugar plum vibes. <laughs> so glad to know they absolutely picked the perfect name for this shade. But yeah, the magnetic polish is more of a jelly base, which I really love since they add in this extra scattered holographic glitter that floats outside of the magnetic shimmer. It's basically like what they did in Poison and Venom from their Trapped collection, and I just really, really love that. So it was still a little sheer for me in two coats, so I did end up doing three, and I'm honestly still kind of on the fence with how I feel about this shade. I don't know if it's because it's just way darker than I was expecting, or maybe the magnetic effect doesn't seem as strong as compared to other shades. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I still think it's really beautiful. The next polish is Elsa, which is the second micro flaky in the collection. This one features a captivating blue sparkle along with holographic micro flakes in a slightly blue tinted base. 
So this is definitely a very silver leaning or cool toned blue that I think is just so perfect to match the name. And of course, it perfectly encapsulates the winter season. So I did find this one to be a little bit more sparse than Smitten, where even on three coats, you could still make out some really teeny tiny bald spots if you're looking close enough, but it didn't bother me that much, probably because the shade is just so stunning. <laughs> so maybe this is a polish that's worth sponging on to get full coverage if it does bother you though. But I definitely would also be interested in trying this shade over a deep blue base or in a jelly sandwich. It seems like it's delicate enough to layer in one coat but still give you so much sparkle. But obviously I'm really loving it built up in three coats here. I could just stare at this all day. <laughs> And lastly, we have Zero Degrees, which I ended up saving for last because this one was actually my favorite from the collection. Kind of shocking, right? <laughs> so this is the second magnetic in this collection, and it features a frozen midnight blue jelly base with an icy blue magnetic shimmer. And of course, that sprinkling of holographic glitter as well. So I had the same experience with application as I did with Sugar Plum. But for whatever reason, I feel like the magnetic effect in this one was just so much stronger. I'm not sure if there's just a better contrast between the shimmer and the base color since Sugar Plum had a pretty dark base as well, but this one just really surprised me with how much I loved it, especially over the more pinky shades in the collection. So on two coats, I definitely found the base built up a little darker than Sugar Plum did. So I think if you have shorter nails, you could get away with two coats, but I ended up doing a third with a cat eye effect and it was basically opaque for me. Maybe a little bit squishy looking, but it didn't bother me at all. So I wanted to test out the velvet effect with these magnetics, so I ended up doing a skittle with some of the shades. And off the bat, I was so blown away by how velvety Zero Degree looks here on my pinky. And honestly, I was kind of disappointed with how Sugar Plum turned out on my ring finger. I definitely think that one looks better with a cat eye effect. I'm not sure why it's not nearly as velvety looking as Zero Degrees, but either way, it's still such a beautiful polish and I really love the Skittle. Now for comparisons, I want to quickly show a bottle comparison with Snow Angel to Horizon from the Golden Hour collection that I reviewed a few months ago. So these have slightly different formulas and obviously don't even look like dupes, but Snow Angel just made me think of a more silvery version of Horizon. I still think I prefer Horizon if I had to choose since I am a sucker for that gold shimmer, but I'm really loving how perfect Snow Angel is for winter, so you'll have to let me know what you think of these two. Next for Evermore, I was super excited to compare this one to Not Today Satan from Mooncat because it's one of my favorite Mooncat shades ever. Obviously you know I'm such a huge fan of pink and sparkly shades, so yeah, really excited about this one. So these are both light rosy pink holographic shades that are pretty similar in tone. I would say Evermore is a little bit more mauve and it ends up looking a little bit darker on the nail in indirect lighting. And Mooncat also has this gold to green shifting shimmer. And I would say the hollow isn't as intense in the bottle or on the nail, but only in indirect lighting. Now, unfortunately, I have no idea where my clip of these two in direct sunlight went, but they were basically dupes. I had a really hard time telling them apart. The pink shades just looked the same and the hollow was just as strong as both of them. So yeah, the main difference is what you see here in indirect lighting. And lastly for Smitten, I actually don't physically have a polish to compare it to, but this shade immediately reminded me of Fake Date from Hollow Taco. So I had recently ordered a few of their holiday glitters that they brought back, which by the way, let me know if you want a video of me reviewing those. <laughs> And I debated adding Fake Date to the order, but it would have just been for the sake of the comparison because looking at the photos, I just knew that they were dupes. So I ended up skipping it. 
but I still wanted to show the photo because they're nearly identical so if you do have that shade I really don't think you would need this one. So that wraps up my swatch and review and some comparisons for the ILNP Winter Wonderland collection. As always I would love to know what your thoughts are on this collection or just in general what you think about the winter collections that some brands are releasing already. I know some brands have already released them like the mainstream ones I think were announced in like October which is just crazy to me but <laughs> as we get closer to December I am getting more and more excited and this collection I mean, ILMP in general just has been knocking it out of the park. I haven't been disappointed with a collection in a while. <laughs> so this one is just another absolute stunner for me. And I was telling one of my friends that the color story kind of reminds me of the color palette that I chose for my Libra favorites video. <laughs> so maybe I'm just very partial because of that. Uh, but you'll have to let me know what you think. As always, leave any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.